Hello, Marvelous Sausages! The final reset before Season 17. We still have no idea what it's called, so it's very exciting, if a tad confusing. So we'll have a look at Eververse. We'll have a look at the Guardian games. We'll also have a look at any armor, and we'll also have a look at Banshee's weapons as well, plus some extra bits and bobs that have tickled my fancy. So, as is normal, first of all, let's dive in and have a look at the old Eververse store. Right, in we pile, and first of all, we've got the celebrated and elevated multiplayer emote. Ooh, let's have a look at that. Yes, that was rather amusing. We had that last week for Bright Dust, didn't we? So there we go. There's that there. That's for 800 silver. Hot commodity ship. I believe I bought this last week or the week before. Can't remember. Very sexy looking ship, though. I do like it. Uh, and that's 800 silver as well. We've got the pistol pose. Uh, exotic sparrow. Lovely. Nice jet, too. That's rather cool. What's that going for? That's 800 too. And then finally the sponsored shell as well. Ooh, nice and all the stickers it was for bright dust last week here it is for silver don't forget as well this is the last week we can get anything for the guardian game so if you want to buy something now's your chance we've got the photo finish shader let's have a look at that Ooh, that's quite nice isn't it oh it's quite dark and mysterious and mm, i love it not very oh look <gasps> the glow changes look at that we got a changing glow we got yellow we got blue uh, yeah, we got an rgb amazing shader fantastic okay that's cool let's buy that baby definitely picking that up i recommend you all pick it up immediately it's only bloody 300 bright dust uh trophy projection so there we go there's your trophy projection if you want it that's 1500 bright dust power nap a multiplayer emote which is rather amusing isn't it yes look i'm i'm playing and sleeping with myself isn't that nice there we go that's a power nap one uh backstroke shell uh that sounds a bit rude but uh yes it what i can't figure it out really is it a handbag oh no it's like a uh, it's like a swimsuit i get it yes very good uh okay let's have a look at what else we've got for bright dust we've got the give me a g multiplayer emote oh that's quite good that one i like that one let's hide the menu and look at it da -da 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 -da. they look like dandelion heads that have taken sort of uh, e pills and swallowed that new shader which changes to all the colors i like that that's very good how much is that 4250 bugger all bright dust left for me uh the champion shell which is quite a nice ghost shell yeah i quite like that very humorous so there we go that's for uh 2850 the wedge sparrow which i think is very nice indeed yes that is a nice fast looking sparrow that one yeah not too bad that's uh 2500 bright dust two grand for the victory's herald ship which i think is pretty damn sexy uh, let's have a look and see what that photo for the shader does on it absolutely nothing i wonder what this one does on it Ooh, that's quite nice it does take shaders quite well doesn't it it's nice and stripy and sexy yes that's well worth a fiddle with there we go so there's that one uh we've got the high score emote i do like this i've already got this one it just holds up random scores like it changes each time they hold up oh there's a 10 how much uh, would you give my channel out of 10 guardian 10 well done guardian that was not a fix that actually happened as i spoke <laughs> right okay uh classed of its own for the old vex mytho class nice mod not mod bloody idiot ornament is what i meant to say that's very good if you've got a vex mytho class well worth picking up 1250 yeah not bad and then we've got the guardian games projection as well there's lovely uh, it's a changing color mm, no never mind uh then we've got the cabal entrance transmat effect oh it's got a little uh, looks like a like a locking crosshairs on it quite like that eldritch effects i thought this was going to be a big cupboard but it's not it's a sort of I don't know, elongated eldritch chest piece type thing. Well, there we are. Chest piece, even. AI RSP, RSPN. <laughs> AI com dot uh, whatever this is. Let's have a look. It's a, it's a war mind one anyway, and I do like those. Aren't they nice? Yes. Excellent. Right. Let's have a look at the shaders we've got. Boreal Char. I quite like Boreal Char. It's quite dark. It's got a nice glow on it as well. It's a, it's, it's a good shade of that. It's not too shiny either boreal char there we got welded brass Ooh, that's nice isn't it i've already got it of course but of course you know there's so many shaders in the game it's difficult sometimes to notice i like that that's a good one reef made yes here we go it's the uh it's the slushy uh 
black currant and uh, blueberry look. Yes, I quite like that one. Yeah, God knows what I'm talking about. And finally, we've got Chalco's Finery. There we go. Very nice. Looks like you're about to go out for the evening. Yes, very good indeed. And there we are. That's it for this week's Eververse. Don't forget, pick up any of the Guardian game stuff before it bloody goes. So there we go. Nothing to interact with here. And at the moment, the Titans are absolutely piling it in. Look at it. They've all shoved in loads of bloody stuff. Uh, the winners, what do we have? We had a Warlock win yesterday, look. And uh, there's going to be six left as well. Don't know. I don't know if any other classes can pull it out of the hat yet, but we'll see. Right, let's have a look at the playlists. What do we have? Uh, the strike now is going to be, oh look, it's Birthplace of the Vile on Savathun's Throne Rule. There we are. There's something nice for us to get our ass kicked through, but don't forget as well, this week uh, we have got double vanguard points for strikes so that'll no, no doubt be included in this and we've got double points as well for gambit so if you want to grind out your rank rewards here if you haven't gotten the reckless endangerment or indeed any of the uh, new skins and ornaments either the vanguard skin or the gambit skin now's the time to do it and push those ranks up i think i'll do some gambit as well yes right then let's go and see what banshee's got weapons wise anything of interest my lovely boy hello so first off we've got the wrong hilled d uh shotgun let's have a little look and see for the uh old roll here we've got thresh subsistence assault mag steady rounds <coughs> full choke and we've also got small bar as well this has been given a B, a reasonably popular role for that baby there. Excellent. Uh, moving on, we've got the Krite Auto Rifle. Let's have a look here. We've got the uh, Dagio, uh, Steady Hands, Alloy Magazine, Appended Mag, Extended Barrel with Arrowhead Break, and it's got a Handling Masterwork as well. And they've given this one a D, unfortunately. Not very good, that role. D for dunce, or at least not very popular this week. Oh my goodness, it's a Contingency Plan Scout Rifle. It's an arc scout so you know if you haven't got one of them can come in very handy uh from last season of course uh we've got oh it's got elemental capacity i thought that was an osmosis for a minute then firmly planted extended mag alloy mag small bar and a uh, polygonal rifling it's got a range masterwork too unfortunately it's not a very popular role and it's been given an f but it's pretty nifty gun. If you haven't got one of these, this well worth picking up if you missed them previously in the six-month vlog season. Uh, right, let's have a look here. Fugue, 55. Snipper rifle. Uh, we've got focused fury, compulsive reloader, yes. Appended mag, steady rounds, polygonal rifling, and full bore this time. With a range masterwork on that one. And that's been given a C in popularity. A mildly popular role. Sexy looking gun, that, though. Uh, what are we we got else here oh look we got a typhon gl5 nice roll explosive light demolitionist high velocity rounds sticky grenades linear comp and potato with a hard lunch that's a boiled egg slammed up your nostril uh, and that's got a velocity masterwork on it as well and yes it's popular it's been given an a because of explosive light and demolitionist no doubt and then oh we got the swords for a change let's have a look at which one's most popular this week eternity's edge for the warlocks uh, they've given this a b so it's a mild popular role assassin's blade thresh infinite guard hungry edge enduring blade and jagged edge Glen close as well and we've also got an impact masterwork which is always the same with the bloody swords the titans of course have the old crown splitter oh it's a good one as well we got vorpal weapon flash counter heavy guard hungry edge enduring blade and Glen close as well with the surprise of an impact masterwork they've given this an a that's very nice. Pretty good run on the crown splitters uh, this week so far. There we are. Pick that one up if you ain't got it. And the Hunter Sword, the old Quick Fang. Uh, that's got Flash Counter, Tireless Blade, Swordmaster's Guard, Enduring Blade, Honed Edge, and Tempered Edge as well. The old Impact Masterwork. Not a very popular role, that one. It's been given a miserable D. Let's go and have a little look at what we've got for mods with Banshee today. We've got Icarus Grip, Freehand Grip, Surrounded Spec, and we've got Rampage Spec as well. Ada One's mods today. We've got Sword Reserve. Unflinting sniper rifle aim, elemental charge, and we've got a melee kickstart as 
well. Well, that's quite interesting to pick up if you haven't already got it. I just popped quickly over here to Master Rahul because if you've got any etheric spiral left over, you can trade it in for Glimmer today with Master Rahul. It's well worth keeping your eyes open if you've got a stash of this because it's all going away at the beginning of the season next week. So keep your peepers peeled for that. And while we're at it, look, I've just stuck the photo finish shade of this week's new one on my Titan's uh, armor for the uh, Guardian Games ornaments. And look at cycling through all the colors. Isn't that lovely? Incoming video on this tomorrow, I'll wager. Now, the nightfall this week is the Scarlet Keep. I think everybody was hoping for the Palindrome to be the final weapon. But unfortunately, it doesn't look to be the case. I could be wrong, though. However, it seems that the Silicon New Roma, the uh, sniper rifle, would be the reward for this. But never mind. Don't forget to farm it for all your enhancement prisms and the like. Let's have a quick look at the old throne world here. We've got uh, Catalyst for the Altars of Reflection as well as Insight this week. And the uh, repeatable weekly mission is the Arrival. So there we go. Get your Ascendant alloys in. They're hot and lovely. I did mention in the beginning of the video that we'd be having a look at armor this week as well. But there isn't a single piece that's worth looking at this week. It's all complete ass. So there we go. That's it for this weekly reset video. Bloody hell, look at the difference between the, when the video started and at the end. The Warlocks are really standing loud and proud there. But of course, if we do get any more information dropping about next season, I will let you know immediately. And don't forget, give me a like and a subscribe and hit the old notification ding dong when I drop one of those vids and you'll keep informed about all the new juicy stuff. Thank you so much for watching and I shall speak to you all again very soon. Sausage. Ooh, 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 ooh. Look, there's a titan crying there.